cattle. Instead, she perfected the art of surviving on her own. Without the help of a pride, this lioness had to adapt. When she hunts, the combination of patience, power, and speed is spectacular. This female is about six years. Herbert is captivated by her and returns to the floodplains of Luwa year after year. It comprises 3,600 square kilometers and borders Angola in the west. The bank of the Zambezi floodplain marks the eastern boundary of the park. People living here tell Herbert that the lioness has been alone for many years. They call her Lady Lua. When she rolls for him, a bar reaching consequences. At night, she follows Herbert into his camp. It is true that female lions can survive on their own, but they only thrive as members in a pride. Is it possible to find Lady a mate? And could they produce cubs and form a new pride? If they find her a mate, she will hopefully teach him and their cubs to stay away from cattle and people. The project is even more viable if she can transfer her impressive hunting skills. Lady is now collared to keep track of her movement. The average age of a lion in the wild is 16. She has about six years to produce a litter. The two lions wake up in an enclosure, or a boma, right in the middle of Lady's core territory. One of the males is three years old, the other a bit younger. Lady is almost eight years their senior. The age gap is intentional. Older lions might not submit to Lady's authority. Hopefully, these youngsters will. This is the first time in years that Lady has set eyes on her own kind. She keeps watch as the two males familiarize themselves with their new home. The first piece of the puzzle falls into place, 100 meters from the enclosure. Lady's response is odd. She rolls to show them she is not a threat but she doesn't approach them. The males are aware they are in her territory. Everything is new. It's going to take time to adjust. Before she leaves, Lady marks the territory with her urine. It's a strong message. She's the landowner. They are the squatters. And then, she leaves them. The presence of two new lions in Lua has a huge impact on the local residents. 
It's not only villagers that are now at risk. The arrival of the two lions jeopardizes the hyena's position of power. Together, they make a fearsome team. Only the younger of the two wears a collar, as they are almost never apart. The acid test is to see whether they will mate with Lady or leave her to seek other females. It's a precarious start, but the journey has begun. Almost three years go by without incident. It's November, the beginning of the rainy season. Thousands of wildebeest pour into Lady's territory. The males are hardly recognizable. They are now almost six years old, and their bodies are beefed up, their manes more pronounced. After all this time, they're still together and have bonded with Lady, who seems to be doing all the hunting. She targets wildebeest, almost twice her size. With a powerful bite to the neck, she suffocates her quarry. It's all over in minutes. The meat from a small calf could keep her going for a few days, but she's not hunting only for herself. As the most experienced hunter in this trio, she is happy to share her kill. The fact that she allows the males to join her and that they don't chase her off the carcass is significant. Eating together is the first building block of a pride. Her reward is companionship. The males get the lion's share of her kill. They gorge themselves and can eat up to a quarter of their own weight in one sitting. For the first time, Herbert sees the two males compete. It is the younger of the two brothers that emerges as the dominant male. He's the one that follows her when she's in estrus. He grimaces curling back his lips to expose an organ in the back of his mouth that picks up faint chemical pheromones. He can smell that she's in heat. It's the dance Herbert has been waiting to film for years. The brother watches from the sidelines. Lady stays receptive for several days and copulates frequently. Both males stick to her like glue. They won't fight over her. As members of the same coalition, they come to a gentleman's agreement. If the dominant brother tires, 
the other might get a chance to mate as well. Now she rolls, not to greet Herbert, but in submission. When Herbert returns a year later, there are still no cubs. It's a huge disappointment. Lady is now almost 13 years old, and Herbert and the team must consider the possibility that she is infertile. If that's the case, the males might leave her and start roaming, looking for other females to propagate their bloodline. After three days, Lady makes a U-turn and returns to the fenced-off Boma. The two young females respond to her calls. The connection between Lady and the cubs is immediate. She engages. Cats are vulnerable when they expose their undersides. When they roll, they express submissiveness. But trouble is on the way. Lady's body posture changes. She knows that the males could attack these new residents. Ears back, every muscle contracted. She puts the males in their place. Four cats now crowd her space after years of solitude. When the males were in the Boma, Lady disappeared for days. But now she is intrigued by the cubs. She keeps constant vigil. The electrical current that runs through the fence is non-lethal, but does give a sharp jolt. Lady is clever. She discovers a broken wire and tries to gain access where the circuit is breached. The males are perturbed by the new arrivals. But before they get any ideas, Lady asserts herself. The balance of power might have shifted, but she's still in control. The landscape of Lua now looks very different from the days when Lady followed Herbert to his camp. Now two young and subdued females follow her. But Lady is not used to having an entourage. She's not at all familiar with the dynamics of a pride. Now that she has her freedom back, she does the unexpected. She abandons them. The two young females now find themselves in a new and unfamiliar environment swarming with hyenas. Since their release, the young females stick together. But their lives are in real jeopardy. Hyenas can kill lonesome female lions, and tonight, they face a growing mob. <laughs> 
In no time, the newcomers are surrounded by a hungry and ferocious clan. They stand their ground, but the noise attracts a far more dangerous adversary, the males. The two brothers have finally tracked down the youngsters in the wild, and Lady is nowhere in sight to protect them. The hyenas know what's good for them. En masse, they retreat. This is their first encounter with the males outside the boma. Anything can happen. The brown-collared female is first to bolt. The white collar is cornered before she can escape. against one. The odds are not in her favor. But her assertiveness could be her saving grace. At the right moment, she crouches in submission. The encounter with the males is a frightening experience for both young females. They split up. Separated, they are now more vulnerable. Danger looms for both of them. The team manages to track down the females, and they are reunited. It takes months before they settle down. But little does Herbert know that he is filming them for the last time. The next day, the brown collar is gone. This puts her in a strong position to assert power and seize authority. Clearly upset, Lady seeks refuge in a tree. Herbert thinks this elevated position is her attempt to retain control. Hunger eventually tempts her down. For Herbert, it's difficult to watch. The tree becomes a central prop in this battle of wits between these two cats. The young female catches on very quickly. She is lighter. If height is of any consequence, she can go higher. From her elevated position, the young female spots the surviving lion. He is just returning from Angola, alone. It seems as if every breakthrough in this project is shadowed by a new set of problems. The two brothers formed a strong coalition. They made this territory their own, and for four years, managed to stay out of trouble with the villagers. 
The hope of establishing a new generation of lions now resides with the survivor. Lady and the young female emerge from the boma after seven weeks. The outcome of the bonding exercise is disappointing. They split up. Lady doesn't want another cat on her tail. But the time in the boma did benefit the young female. It gave her time to mature. She doesn't see the male as a threat anymore. There is an explanation for her playful behavior. She is an estrus. Lady is excluded from this courting ritual. After all the turns and twists in this complicated plot, she finds herself once more alone. After hunting alone, the young lioness returns to the male. She is ready to mate. The project is one step closer to reaching its goal. The male will sire the next generation. But what about Lady? Will she be part of this new pride? It somehow seems sad and tragic if she is now excluded. And on cue, she disappears. The male now follows the young female when she hunts. Mm. To feed mm. both of them, she must target bigger prey. The male is not helpful. His over-eagerness spoils the hunt. Female are now the major players in this drama. When Lady suddenly reappears. The young female watches the reunion from a distance. Over many years, Herbert and Lady somehow learned to recognize and respect. When she looks at him now, he feels, is this what you wanted? In the presence of the male, Lady lies down with the young female. This is what a pride looks like. After so many years, all the effort and energy that went into this project seemed to pay off. The young female frequently mates with the lion in lady's presence. are the cornerstone of prides. They form strong bonds and hunt together. The male's instinct is to protect them, and his drive is to breed.
But a female in estrus that leads to mating is not a guarantee that this new pride is stable and secure. Hunting together is the final test. And then it happens. The young female takes the lead. Lady follows. This is certainly a new development. And the outcome is swift and lethal. In all his years at Lua, this is the first time that Herbert films Lady not hunting on her own. When the male joins them, the circle is complete. The air is full of promise. Lady remains the central force and protector of this new pride. She may not give birth to the next Lion King, but she will make sure.